Hey gang, Dave here, getting in the outdoors. I'm coming at you live today. Eh, no, not really. But uh, what I'm doing today is a, a lure build. So I am making a lipless crankbait, my personal favorites. And when I was right to the fine sanding part of this here, I had discovered on my lure making table that I had some unfinished business. I had come up with the idea of a jointed popper. Did the rough carving and I got the lead in the bottom, all that crap. Um, front's gonna be a frog, back's gonna be, I don't know yet, something else. And as you tug it this way, this is gonna catch water, this is gonna catch water, and they're gonna go tuck, 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 all that stuff. Uh, stay tuned. Hopefully, this works. Hopefully, this works. This is kind of cool. Uh, I like the idea of it. The paint scheme I'm going for for this is probably gonna be. Uh, I think of pink, so uh, probably breast cancer awareness. So maybe I'll carve a ribbon in this area right here and this area right here. Um, painter paint, bottom white. Uh, yeah, so if you're into checking out that kind of jazz, uh, like, subscribe, share, tell your friends, tell your grandma, tell your next door neighbor, people you don't like, tell them to, uh, and watch. Hey gang, Dave here getting into the outdoors, doing a quick little uh, fishing lure video. Step one, stick of wood. Step two, big ugly crayon pencil. And just draw out any kind of, uh, into a, my, my favorite, the lipless crankbait. Time for the dirty little belt sander. Gonna knock off some of the some of the scuff marks. Got another one there that I found that was, kind of worked an old paint peeled off on me. So I'm still working on some of that stuff, but uh, I think it was because I didn't thoroughly clean it before I painted it. So this is kind of learning as I go. Uh, but I am going to show you this because I've been doing a lot of high fuming stuff here with the super glue. It burns the eyes and all that fun jazz. Not fun jazz. Um, boom, 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 boom. So all I'm doing, giving her a nice little bath of super glue. I don't know if you see that. I'm just trying to keep it moving. And I did have to crack a window because it was very, very fumey in here. And my wife objects to me getting buzzed out of my gourd on super glue. Oh, dog hair, Bruce. dog got some fur on it this is a little signature I guess all right now where we're gonna hang this oh right there this is where I always drop them on the floor oh this one I didn't perfect ta-da see it's always done like that I never drop them on the floor come on baby missed a little bit and there we go. Uh, there's my little carved ribbon one. That there's going to be something else. The frog. And this here is just another lipless crank. I don't, I don't know. I'll do something to give it to somebody. All right. That's where we are. Let that dry. Little fine sand. Then it's going to be hairbrush time. Oh, 
Okay. This time I put my airbrush compressor, a loud growler, out in the hallway. So the kids are going to be super happy with me trying to watch a movie upstairs, but they should be used to me making noise. So what I'm going to do is just give everything a nice dab of, oh yes, nice dab of a white base coat. So what I'm going to use is, uh, I think, this old hard paintbrush. Oh, it's not too bad. Uh, some titanium white. Now that will probably make it. Ooh. Oh, nice. That's why I'm not allowed to be in the whole house. Oh, I like that better. I think it needs a good clean, so I'll just put her there for now. I'll start with this little puppy. Ooh. I think I have my air pressure way too high. I will adjust that when I move to the other colors, but this is just going to be a baby coat, so I'll take my chances. She sure does pound her out of there, though. Alright, where am I going to put that? It doesn't matter where I put it, it's going to fall on the floor. Nope, oh, good. Actually, these are barely on there, so I am going to go turn the air pressure down. They'll be right back. There. Yeah, I guess 110 pounds of air going through her. Makes the paint fly out in her. Oh no, this is gonna suck. Oh, that's way more controlled. I can do this little froggy at the same time. Oh, nice. Oh, I didn't feel that pretty good. Now, ah, well. it's for fun, anyhow. Very cheap. Look at this. Another pair of pliers. Cool. Anyway. Split ring pliers. Oop. Oh no, I didn't sand that down very good. Oh, big gob of wet. There, take that. I do stuff like that. Oh well. Good enough. No. Well, what was that thing? It's gross, whatever it is. Oh, nice. Super glue on the end of the airbrush. Oh, there it goes. Oh, the compressor's so much quieter out there. Those kids should be livid. Cut that off with a knife after whatever that is up top for a painter. Solid color. So, there we go. There's the base coat. Uh, I probably won't show the painting of this stuff here. Uh, will likely show the painting of this. All right, time for some neon paint. Cheap paint, cheap everything. The only thing I spent any real money on was the airbrush. It's the Iwata Eclipse. And the only reason I spent money on that is because the cheap one didn't last very long. This is a very gelatinous paint. So hopefully. Hmm, let's see. Hopefully it'll shoot. Oh yeah. So
Probably aware by now. I'm not very good at this. I don't do it to be good at it. I do it to give me something to do. Pretty cool feeling to be able to make your own lure, quote, catch fish on it, all that fun stuff. Well, guys, after some careful consideration for my family, uh, apparently my air compressor stuff was plenty loud for them, and we have come to the conclusion that I should probably do the white with a paintbrush. So, uh, my airbrush skills ain't that good anyhow, so I will a little bit of this pearl white in that lid and I'm just going to fill this groove that I buffed out with the, the Dremel fill the pearl it should give it a little good, good little glimmer in the water so when I do try and get this all scratched up, ooh, shaky, low blood sugar, low blood sugar. No, it's just shaky old man hands. Don't tell my wife. She'll be, oh, your vertigo is back. Maybe it is. Some bubbles wouldn't. Oh, there it goes. Look at that. It's like a kid again. Popping bubbles. Yay. Now, I bet you guys this is exciting. That's that expression. As exciting as watching paint dry. Well, at least you're only watching the stuff I didn't cut out, because the rest, you can just imagine how boring it was. You gotta make yourself smile. Hmm. My leg's shaking. Real little bit. Oh, I should move that propane torch. I'm gonna make a mess. Yeah. Mess. Get accused of making many of those. You can tell by my well organized work area. Oh, 
I'll take all right. Hmm. Now, I will not show you guys me painting the other side because this is, even I'm getting bored of this crap. So, almost done. Bear with me. Bear with me, almost. Almost. A little bit more. A little bit more. There. I will let you guys off the hook right now, you lucky buggers. Well, gang, there it is. My little wee fun project, and I have used the final coat. Well, not the final coat. Second final coat is Dragonfly Glaze, and it doesn't show up when it's wet, but the second that dries, it makes things sparkle. Got that. I think it was a Walmart. Actually, super impressed with it. Really, really makes things pop. So I'm going to throw, and eh, just some sticky eyes on. Eh, let me go with blue, orange. Man, I think I'll do blue. Some pretty blue eyes. All right, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, share, send it to somebody. Do whatever you want with it. Um, Till next time, catch you on the lake.